January 19th, Friday, 6.20 a.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Happy Friday, everyone. A couple things. Um, number one, we've got a comet that's being observed, Comet Panstars. It is putting on quite a show. Um, some good videos here at spaceweather.com. Gentleman out of Austria. His name is Michael Jagger, and he is a comet hunter extraordinaire. Number two, there's been some recent additions to the NASA Near Earth Object Program, the JPL, out of California. This is really interesting, and for a couple of reasons. But first, let me explain. The ones that you see highlighted darker than the other ones are extremely close near Earth objects. Granted, they're small, but I would say that they're part of the bigger picture. This is the six foot approximately meteor, probably a small asteroid that entered the atmosphere over uh, Michigan a couple of nights ago. Everybody heard of that. There was a event over Dallas Fort Worth that created a loud explosion in the night sky and a bright light. And more than likely it was some sort of a, uh, what appeared to be a high speed meteor. There was also another meteor that was spotted on a dash cam and by people in North Alberta. Let me see if I can find the video here. This keeps uh, losing its place. Let me see. Where is it at? Right here? Yeah, here it is. Okay, this one was picked up by a, a driver in Alberta. The dash cam of his car. And it looked a lot like the one in Michigan. Check this out. Watch it come down right there. Look at that. That's a good size fireball. And that was in North Alberta. Here's the thing. Okay. There was a near-Earth asteroid that went 0 0.1 LD. That's where it was detected in space. That's between the Earth and the Moon. The ones that are highlighted in the darker colors are asteroids that are discovered that travel between the Earth and the Moon. The rest of them that you see on here, and the list is rather large. I mean, it's getting bigger every day because they're getting better at discovering these things. And it kind of looks like, if we look at the bigger picture here, that we might be in some sort of a debris field. All things considered, what happened in... Um, well, there was also something over in the UK, but all around the world. But the ones that I know of here in North America, especially the one in Michigan, was, was a very impressive event. And now on the 15th, this was posted on the uh, 17th, or it was discovered on the 17th, but its near approach to Earth was on the 15th. So these are being discovered after the fact. So more than likely, we're in some sort, uh, some sort of a debris field that is not associated with this comet that is uh, really putting on a show up there. But you have to have extreme astrophysics or astronomical skills and, and equipment to, to get images like that. That's uh, it's very impressive. The guy does a good job. But check this out. I want to share something with you guys that is very unusual. I've been checking this list for many, many years. I remember when this list was at 400. That's how long I've been watching this, pretty much on a daily basis. Here's something I've never seen. Granted, the ones that are highlighted darker are rather small, but... It's part of the bigger picture. We're in some sort of a debris field is what it tells us overall. But check this out. This column here, second from the left, is the velocity. It's really not a big deal, but it's on this page for a reason. Because it's important, and it's all part of the uh, asteroid's personality and things like that. I have never seen one at 0 0.1 velocity. It just simply can't go much slower than that. I was told a long time ago by a gentleman, in fact, it was back in 2009, and he said to watch for large, slow-moving fireballs in the years to come. And he said, when you start to see large, slow-moving fireballs, that is telling of the presence of something else in space. 
0.1 is about as slow as you can get, and it is as the slowest I've ever seen on here in over 10 years. And in fact, there's one today that is going between the Earth and the Moon. It's not, not a threat to the Earth, but still, it's 2.7 uh, velocity. That's very slow for an asteroid, considering there's one that's 24.5. They can get up to over 30. 0 0.1, that's basically standing still. I'm not even sure that that's an asteroid, but I guess it is. They're saying it is. That went by on the 15th, as did one, two, three, four others. So it appears that we're in some sort of a debris field. It's not related to the comet. Um, some very impressive footage here by Mr. Jaeger. But we'll keep an eye on this and see if the list grows. It's been growing after the fact, after these things pass by the Earth. So that's very interesting. And it says that it's very active out there. And don't be surprised if we see some more events exactly like that, maybe greater. Who knows? In the meantime, guys, thanks for watching. Be brave, be strong, be wise, and be safe out there.